Everybody uh, still hanging out here down in the Florida Keys, getting ready to marry a couple of people uh, tomorrow. Congrats to Lori Kelly, Outkick, uh, former editor, and uh, her fiance. I'm going to be doing that ceremony tomorrow. But I wanted to react to the suspensions that just came down uh, from the NFL. Miles Garrett suspended indefinitely for the rest of the season. Uh, we will see what happens with Pouncey getting a three-game suspension and the other player for the Browns who shoved Mason Rudolph got a game. No suspensions, uh, no suspensions at all for Mason Rudolph. I think the NFL kind of got it right. Uh, I understand every bit of their decision. If anything, and you want to quibble with these suspensions, you can say, well, they could have been careful and they could have suspended Rudolph for a game just so they avoid any suggestion that they gave him preferential or favorable treatment. But I think in the grand scheme of things, the guy who's got the most gripe is actually Pouncey, uh, who got suspended three games for defending his quarterback. To me, uh, that's exactly what you want your offensive lineman to do when your quarterback is getting attacked, whether it's on the field or outside the field or anywhere else. The offensive lines, like the Kings guard, man, their job is to protect the King and the quarterback is the King. Um, and so I think that was a really uh, strong move by Pouncey. I think he'll probably make the money back up from the suspension that he gets. Uh, because if I'm an NFL uh, GM, if I'm a coach, if I'm trying to decide what to do on the offensive line, I want that dude right or wrong on that wall defending uh, my quarterback in that scenario. Uh, and so I think uh, you want that kind of fight out of your offensive lineman. Now, Predictably, this will descend into a racial animus discussion because everything that involves white or black today eventually becomes racial related. But I think if you look at Mason Rudolph, there's nothing he did that would have gotten suspended, that would have led to a suspension based on on the ground, on the field. He got hit late. He was angry. He's shoving around uh, Miles Garrett uh, on the ground. There's no way that ends in a suspension in any other game. It's everything that happened after that incident that led to the suspension. So I think the NFL is trying to set a good precedent here and only punish the acts that deserve the actual suspension. Yanking on a helmet like that would never be a suspension. All right. So you can't say that that is worthy of a suspension because things like that happen all the time in NFL games and it sets an awful precedent. Most people are not intelligent enough to understand the importance of precedent. And this is why what I do every day, it drives people crazy, is I try to apply sports precedents to the law. In other words, I think about situations, and that's why I talked earlier about the Albert Hainsworth situation. I think about the situation, how it applies historically, and then contemplate what message I'm sending going forward. If the standard is for Mason Rudolph, we're going to suspend you if you're rolling around on the ground for 15 seconds after a hit, then that standard has to be applied consistently across the league. It makes absolutely no sense. I think the NFL got it right. If Roger Goodell and the NFL had wanted to try to forestall this uh, argument, they could have suspended Mason Rudolph for one game. But I think they looked at the precedent and said his actions aren't justified based on that suspension. So again, if you want to point to somebody who has a legitimate gripe here, it's Pouncey. I think the standard for Miles Garrett is roughly appropriate. I said I would have suspended him for the rest of the year. I think he should be back at the start of next season. Um, and uh, I think that makes the most sense. I'm not one of these guys who believes the suspension should be longer than that. Uh, I think the rest of this season is adequate. Uh, I think he probably needs anger management issues because of the issues that he's had on the field this year, punching Delaney Walker, uh, injuring Trevor Simeon with a brutally late hit. Uh, but to me, the punishment fits the crime here. I think the NFL did a pretty good job associated with it, um, and uh, that's the way that, that I would break it down. In typical fashion, this will descend into white privilege discussion. The usual members of the sports media who only see everything through the prism of white, black, Asian, Hispanic, and by the way, it's almost always white and black, will make their arguments that Mason Rudolph got off because of white privilege. I don't think so. I think it's the facts at play here that led to a suspension. I think if Nick Bosa, if you want to play flip the races, I think if Nick Bosa had done the exact same thing to Russell Wilson, I think the suspension would be the same. And that should, by the way, be the NFL goal to treat everybody the exact same in the NFL, regardless of their race, their religion, their gender, their ethnicity, any of those things. And so I think, again, if you flip the script here and it's Nick Bosa who does this to Russell Wilson, I think that the suspension should have been the exact same if every other act is the exact same. Now, again, 
some people are so freighted in the victimization ideology of race that everything something happen every time something happens that involves a white or black person that's the the the, uh, the mechanism by which they make determinations i just think that's fortunate unfortunate and i also think it's sad i can't imagine living in a universe like that where you see yourself as a perpetual victim it has to be really frustrating and ultimately self-defeating because if you see yourself as a victim all the time and you live in that victimization ideology it makes it very hard for you to be a success in your life or in your mental health i love all of you my name is clay travis that's my reaction to the miles garrett suspensions i'm down in the florida keys doing going to a wedding appreciate all of you dbap unless you need to sbap see y'all